Hello everyone, it's Lorraine, and today I'm coming to you with a small Ulta haul. Um, there's a new, a new Ulta opened up in Cincinnati over at Rook, Rookwood Plaza, I want to say. I think it opened up at the beginning of this month, the beginning of November. And so I was over there um, today, so I decided to stop in just to see how the store was and just check it out. So, of course I can't go into Ulta without purchasing something, so... And of course, nail polish. And they actually had some polishes that I haven't seen in um, my closest Ulta, which is the one in North Northgate. And I haven't been to the Kenwood one since the Northgate location opened. I just, I don't like the Kenwood one. They're not necessarily friendly to all people, if you catch my drift. But, so, um, I saw that they had the Sesh polishes and I have been wanting to try them out so I did pick up a few of those but first I did pick up a um I've heard a couple people here on YouTube um talking about this the NYX um butter lip balm and it is a tinted lip balm and this is like a nude a nude color so um I do like their butter glosses so I figured I'd give this one a try um, for those days where I just want like more of a balm than a gloss or whatever. And um, this one is in the color um, brownie, I believe. Yes, in the color brownie. And I want to say they have maybe about eight different shades, maybe. I'm not, can't really remember. I didn't pay that much attention. So, um... Again, it just looks like a chapstick. This is the color. Just a nudie pink, very much like. It's very similar to the color of the tube. And just to show you, I mean, it is... Oh, that one's not showing up. The one, the tester that I tried actually showed up way more than this one and it's funny because I was what the per one of the people that I was watching on YouTube you can kind of see it but the tester um showed up much more visible one of the people that I um saw talk about this on YouTube she had the same problem when she first tried it like um she tried applied it and it pretty much like nothing came off and I, I'm not sure, so I might just try to wipe off the top just a little bit. But then she said that when she went back to try it again, then she got color. So, but she, I don't know what color she had. I don't believe it was this particular color. But she did have the same problem that I'm having where it's pretty much not showing up. Like literally the one that I tested at Ulta was much more opaque. But I will say it has a fabulous smell. It's like a subtle fruity smell, so we'll see. I will give this a try. I will try to wear it down, and I don't know if it's just because of the um, way that the stick is made. So if you look at the cotton ball, that's the general color, but I will probably be rocking this in one of my upcoming videos, so and I'll let you know when I do, but on to the good stuff. So I picked up a few of the Sesh polishes. The Sesh polishes are $7.50 a piece at Ulta. I, can't, I haven't really searched online to see if I can find them cheaper. So since I was there and they had them, I just went ahead and grabbed them. And this one um, was one of the last ones I picked up. I um, They don't have a wide, at least not in Ulta, they didn't have a wide. They have a good variety of colors, but a lot of them are like reds, burgundies, and then like pinks so I picked up the original colors I picked up were like metallic and then um, and sh kind of shimmeries polishes and then I, I was like well I want to try their cream formula to see how where their cream formula works so I picked up this one it's a nude like mauve pink this one's called memoir and again it is by sesh it comes in the same type of bottle that the um, their top coat is in, and it just has the emboss, you know, their logo emboss like on the the cap. Um, here is the formula. Looks pretty opaque. I want to say on the display it said like one coat and you're out or something like that. So it is 
touting that it is opaque in one coat so we're going to see so this is the first one and then I picked up this other one it is a very pretty like frosty shimmery magenta color and this has like hints of like purplish blue like shimmer and this one is called Magnifique And then the next color, this one's just absolutely gorgeous, even though it is a glitter. It, this is just gorgeous. I couldn't help pick the help but pick this up. And it's very fall. It's like go with like orange, like coppery orange, larger glitter. So very, very gorgeous. And this one's called Sparkle Clink Kiss. I don't know who comes up with some of these names. Sparkle would have been enough. Okay, Whew, my arms. And then here is, I mean, it's quite a bit comes out on the brush. So I'm hoping this is going to be one that has really good glitter distribution. So I'm gonna have to try this one fairly soon. I'm gonna have to try these, one of these. The first one that I'm probably gonna be trying is this other one. This first one that I picked up, it is a nice deep um, metallic shimmery like blue. And it looks like it has like some subtle purple undertones to it, but we will see. And this one is called Hypnotic. And the reason that I got this is because um, I traded in my car yesterday for a um, newer model. I had a 2010 Hyundai Sonata. And so I went in yesterday, I traded it in for a 2013 Hyundai Sonata Limited, and it is like this color blue. So I wanted to get, um, I had to get a polish, which I'm pretty sure I have something that matches, but because I've never tried the Sesh polish, I figured why not try this one first? This would make me try it even quicker because it's hard for me to determine like which polish I want to try next. And I try to pop use some that I've recently purchased just because people may be more likely, you know, probably want to know more about newer polishes because they're probably contemplating purchase, purchasing it. And I want to, you know, help you decide, you know, if it's worth it or not. So I'm going to be doing this one next. I don't know if I'm going to change them today or maybe tomorrow. But um, so this one is called Hypnotic and this is like the perfect color blue, a great match. So that's all that I got. I was very, very good. So $7.50 for the um, Sesh polishes and I believe and I three, $2.99, $3.99 for the NYX Butter Lip Balm in the color brownie. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you've tried, especially if you tried the Sesh um, polish. I'd be very interested to know your thoughts and also if you tried the NYX lip, Butter Lip Balm and if you had the same problem where when you first tried to use it, it didn't really have any color payoff even though when you tested the, used the tester it did or you know people have used it and it the color actually came off. Let me know if you've had the same problem. So thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times and have a great day ladies. Bye.